Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So for today's video, we're going to continue doing these little crazy workouts. But today, we're gonna be using the Tumbao. Oh yeah, so it's a Tumbao workout. Crazy. <laughs> Welcome to Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but just had to welcome you to the channel. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And I normally upload videos that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, sharing my videos, just man, commenting, good vibes. Seriously, I am beyond, beyond grateful for you guys. And like I mentioned before, we're gonna be continue doing these little crazy workouts, but today we're going to be using the Tumbao. And please, just a disclaimer before we get ahead of ourselves. I'm gonna show you the little workout. It's a little bit in parts, just like I did before. Parts, parts, parts. But this is not a Tumbao. I want you guys to play in a gig or anything like that. This is again, is a workout. Please do not take it and say, you know what? I learned this on a percussion life. I'm gonna go get a gig with it. No, do not do that guys. This is a workout. This is again, you're gonna help you kind of develop your non-dominant hand and as well your timing, a whole other little secret sauces in that. But yeah, let me show you the workout and please don't get all excited once you hear it. All right, all right let's just do it. Yeah, it's about to get intense, but you gotta love it. Again, please do not try this in a gig. You're you're gonna get fired like really quick if you try to keep on playing that way. It's it's not cute. It's again, it's for a workout. It's meant to push your limits, get you concentrating, get you kind of in the workout mood. So I start this workout with a bass finger with my non-dominant hand and then a slap with my dominant hand, then a finger bass finger with my non-dominant hand and then two opens with my dominant. So it's gonna sound like this. So now that's the first part. Now for the second part, this is where it's gonna get kind of crazy. So I start this with a bass finger and a slap, but the difference between the first one is that after I do that finger, I kind of let my non-dominant hand a little bit off the drum so I could set up the next part. But the bass finger and close slap still land at the same time as the first part. So for example, After doing that close slap, what I do with my non-dominant hand is a bass finger, and then with my dominant hand, a close slap. After doing that, I do another bass finger with my non-dominant hand, and then two opens with my dominant hand. Except the feel of that is gonna be kind of double timed. So to play it kind of slowly, the second part is gonna sound like this. Now to put both parts together, it's gonna sound like this. Crazy. 
crazy simple, but that second part kind of gets it complicated. And again, like I said in last week's video, the challenge isn't just getting this part. It's not just getting that. It seems simple, but that's, that's not the challenge. The challenge is to keep on going. So just to keep on going so you can see how it can kind of become a tongue twister when doing that, it's gonna sound like this. Now, if you wanted to make it a little bit harder, but easier kind of at the same time, just do the first open of the tumbao. So rather than doing two opens with your dominant hand, just do one, which is the first hit. And again, it's gonna start to kind of confuse you because you're so used to playing a basic tumbao. So to kind of give you an example of that, Or you can add the first hit on the tumba and then the second hit on the conga to make it a little bit more kind of complicated going back and forth here, for example. Again, make it your own, have fun with it. Figure out other patterns and things that you can do where you can kind of double time that little one section right there. And you know, you're gonna start to see how your non-dominant hand starts to get kind of lazy and doesn't wanna do anything anymore. But that's the fun part, is to see that development and see that exposure of your own playing where, man, you gotta got a lot of work on there. But all right, y'all really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all already know what to do, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.